Hey guys, Miss Krista from the Kishner Library back with you guys to share another fun uh, craft with you all this week. Initially, I wanted just to show you how to do something called scrape paint. It's just a really fun, easy, kind of messy way to make um, a really pretty print. Um, this is one of my examples. Um, it's pretty obvious once I tell you how to do it, why it's called scrape paint. I cut into a little heart because while I was doing this little project, I came to the realization that Mother's Day is this next Sunday. And I guess I got a little inspired on how I can turn these prints into something like a Mother's Day card. So then I started just trying to find ways to make Mother's Day cards just with all the stuff I had around my house. So today I'm gonna show you a few different easy techniques to make or ideas to help get your imagination going and your creativity flowing so you can make some homemade Mother's Day cards for the moms, the grandmas, your aunts, any of the women in your life who make you feel loved and taken care of. Um, they love, all ladies love the homemade cards and keepsakes, they'll keep them forever. So I'm hoping just to give you some inspiration and um, ideas to make your own homemade cards um, but I'm also going to show you how to do scrape paint and I'm going to show you how I turned my scrape paint into a really cool looking Mother's Day card for my mom and a couple other ideas I had for cards. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are doing scrape paint. I just have a piece of watercolor paper. You can use cardstock, you can use um, some printer paper or scrap um, sketch paper. Um, not that big a deal which kind of paper you use because if you're going to kind of turn this into a card and fold it up, it won't really matter too much. So all I've done here is literally just dollop little squirts of paint all over my paper. This is a cheaper craft paint. Um, it's actually better the thinner your paint is for this type of um, project. You don't want, there it is, super thick paint for this. So, as implied with the word scrape paint, I have a piece of cardboard here. I just cut it off the top of a box and I am literally just going to start from the top and scrape down. And then we're gonna do it again on the other side. Just hold your paper and scrape down. And then anything that's left plain, there's still some paint on your cardboard. You can do another little scrape. And it's just that easy. It's scrape paint and it makes this really pretty stripey, dollopy print. And I don't know, I think it's kind of pretty. It's really easy to do. You can try different colors. You can um, do just one or two colors. You can do lots of colors and just kind of see how it goes. Um, so it's fun in that way. And it's really easy to do. So that is scrape paint. I'm gonna go do one more for you guys. And it's messy. You definitely want to put down newspaper, paper bag, something. So just dollop paint all over your paper. So that was a scrape paint technique and um, once it dries and it won't take too long, it's a pretty thin amount of paint on the paper, you can kind of decide what you want to do with it now. It's fine on its own. You could definitely turn this just print into a Happy Mother's Day and I'm sure whoever you give it to would very much appreciate it. You could fold it in half and right on the inside, there might be some paint on there if you were a little messy like I was, but that's okay. Um, but what I, I decided to do well, first I just cut out a regular heart. I just folded the paper in half, old school. Everyone knows how to usually make a heart, right? And that's a good idea. But I kind of liked that idea of making a lot of little hearts. So what I decided to do was to utilize my paper the best way possible. I folded my paper basically in like just a third and I cut a whole bunch of hearts out. And I did this through the whole, my first one I did. And I made these really pretty, I'm holding up against my chart so hopefully you can see the design and the beautiful color. 
And I did all different sizes because I didn't know really what I wanted to do yet. But I also thought once I cut out the hearts that this was really kind of like a pretty little heart frame. So before I would start the next row of hearts, I went ahead and trimmed off that whole row of my heart cutouts. And then I cut those um, into little squares. So then I had a whole bunch of these because I thought I don't want to waste paper. I don't like to waste things. So I have a whole bunch of these and I decided to make a little collage Mother's Day card. So I glued the little heart frames and wrote a little message on the inside and glued some of the hearts on the outside of this. So, you know, thank you, you're the best. And then on the inside, um, I used the hearts to um, hold my little letters. And with just a regular permanent marker, I just wrote, you know, I love you mom and the hearts. And I'm gonna leave this blank until later. I'm gonna write my mom a personal message thanking her for all the crazy fun things she's done with me my whole life and all of her love and support and french fries she has bought me. So that is one thing you can do with these prints is um, make some kind of collage card. You don't have to do hearts. You can um, cut little stars out. You can trace a flower and then cut that out. You can just be as creative as you want to, but I think it's a really great pretty way to make a card or make um, a print and you know, write all over it how much you love your mom, sister, aunt, grandma, whoever. Um, if you don't have paint, um, but you have some watercolor, which is paint too, but not straight paint, um, I did this real quick with my uh, son's watercolor kit. And I just did little straight lines and I just did, you know, kind of soft, pretty colors. Didn't really worry too much about blending it and making it perfect because in the end, I was going to do the same thing, cut out some shapes and stuff, or of course you can just fold it in half and you can draw on it, you can write on it, and it's a really beautiful, colorful card um, that you've done yourself. And moms always, and grandmas, they all appreciate homemade creative things that you did yourself. They're always very proud and excited to receive those types of things. So watercolor, same concept. Just make a beautiful print with lots of colors. You can do any colors you want. Find a way to make it into a card doesn't take that long the ladies in your life will surely appreciate it and then I had two more quick ideas I was going to share with you so I found some buttons laying around from an old project a long time ago and I made these little flowers and I just glued this on with regular Elmer's glue and that's just construction paper this is just construction paper and I made little hearts you could do this with beads you can do you know a sun you could do a rainbow depending on what you have um, so just try to give you some ideas to get creative. So that's a fun little kind of 3D textury card. And then my favorite idea, and I don't care if you're helping your five-year-old cousin or sister or brother do this, or you're by yourself and you're 16, handprints. We all love seeing our kids' handprints, whether we're your grandma, your aunt, your mom, your best friend's mom, we're always amazed at how big you guys get and how quickly. And it's also really nostalgic to give your mom a handprint if you're 10, 12, 15, 18 years old, and they can compare it to handprints they have of you. And they do, they do have handprints of you from when you were two and three, and they can compare it because I think we kind of stopped doing the little handprint thing once you know, you're not little anymore. And I think it's kind of a neat idea to do it when you're older and they can go find your little handprint and compare on how big you've gotten. Cause it always blows our minds how big you guys are. I know it's silly. One day you'll grow up and see kids around you grow up and you'll be like, oh my gosh, stop. Uh, you make me feel old and why are you so big? But anyways, I digress. I hope this gives you uh, some good ideas to get creative and make some homemade cards for the ladies in your life and let them know how much you love them and appreciate them for doing all the things they do to help you out um, to be a good person. Um, I would love to see any kind of cards you make. Post them down below in the comments. And until next week, while I'll bring you another craft, I hope you stay safe, wash your hands, read some books, get into some art, and take care. Bye.